So I really enjoyed reading um, the comments that you guys made in the picture, and I think a lot of you got a lot of really good things out of it. There's actually a lot to unpack in this picture, so I want to go through and make sure that everyone has um, really seen all the different pieces of it and really understands it. There, there were a lot of really great points, but I want to share just the overall, um, you know, I guess message of this picture versus what it's actually saying with everyone because there's a reason I asked all these questions. So you guys probably know about Manifest Destiny. Mostly you learn about Manifest Destiny in elementary school and it's kind of part of our American psyche and part of our myth of the West. The song America the Beautiful has the phrase that says from sea to shining sea and that's an example of Manifest Destiny too. The idea that it's somehow the destiny of Americans and specifically white Americans to uh, move from the east coast to the west coast and basically dominate the entire landscape um, and this image kind of shows that so let's start with the most prominent figure in this picture which a lot of you called an angel technically that's not what she is but i completely understand why um, you would make that assumption so um, if you look in her hand she's holding something that called that's called a it says school book on it so she's bringing education um, and she is actually a representation of a woman called Columbia who appeared in a lot of political cartoons at the time. So anyone back in the uh, 1800s who was looking at this, this picture was uh, painted in, I believe, 1872. Anyone from that time period would recognize this figure as being a symbol of America. She's kind of similar to Uncle Sam that way, kind of similar to the woman in the Statue of Liberty, that kind of thing. This would be a really well-known image. So the idea that this American symbol Symbol is moving west carrying this school book so she's bringing knowledge and education that's what he's trying to say um, out across the land she's also laying the telegraph wire here so what does that say it says that she's bringing industrialization she's bringing the industrial revolution with her so this is also an idea of American progress kind of headed out west um, we see a lot of American tropes and ideas coming out west too. If you look, there's trains, there's several trains coming out west. There's, um, that's talking about the railroads, just movement is changing. There's of course covered wagons, people still going out the old fashioned way, a person on horseback. So you have these different people coming out to the west in different ways. Here's a stagecoach. And we also see symbols of kind of American um, uh, workers or American dream uh, type imagery. Over here we have some farmers that are plowing the fields. The idea is that people would come out west and they would settle and they would plow. And over here we have some people carrying pickaxes which probably means that they're miners. And this was actually a major reason people would head out west is because they wanted to find gold. There was the California gold rush going on at this time so these people were hoping to strike it rich. Um, but um, there's a lot in this picture that is not really that great when we hold it up to our modern um, ideas of um, you know what really happened with westward expansion because at the time everybody was thinking of themselves as being the best they thought white American culture was clearly the best culture and that they were just going to bring this culture out west and it was going to be amazing that's the intention of the artist he's saying that America is going to bring knowledge and they're going to bring education and they're going to bring all this stuff out west but the picture also unintentionally shows us some of the negative sides of this now the artist wasn't trying to do that he was trying to paint an image of hope but we can see even in this picture some of the things that were negatives about the american dream for instance or i guess about manifest destiny not necessarily the american dream but for instance so she's bringing this uh, school book out that's implying that somehow the knowledge that European Americans have is somehow better than the knowledge that Native Americans have. Look at everyone who takes up this side of the painting. We have herds of buffalo, we have Native Americans here, we've got some Native Americans in the background here, um, and they're shown to be living a very um, rudimentary existence. These are uh, coming out west and these are retreating. They're not moving west out of hope. Look at how this guy is turned back uh, to look at the progress as though he's running away from it. 
rather than um, you know following it like the the Europeans are. If you look at the European Americans here versus these, uh, they look like they're running away. So the idea that Native Americans would just run away and fade into the background contributes to this idea that Native Americans were fading away, that they were dying out. This of course is not true. Native Americans are still around today and their culture is very integral to um, American culture. But that's kind of how it's shown here. Also the buffalo herds, the buffalo herds are running away too. So this is kind of showing the retreat of nature as industrialization comes forward. You'll also notice that this side of the painting is darker than this side. Now part of that is just the fact that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That's just a scientific fact that happens to back up their particular perspective. Um, so they're looking at the west as kind of this land of darkness and the sun rising from the east and heading out west. So the idea that European Americans are bringing the light to this land of darkness. Now what's the problem with that idea? The problem is that that's incredibly condescending towards Native Americans. The idea that somehow they were in darkness, that they were somehow savage or less civilized, um, or that they would even be retreating from all this that is just not how Americans view this experience. If they were to look at this picture, they would feel incredibly insulted by it. And rightly so. I mean, this is actually a very arrogant view of um, westward expansion. It's looking at westward expansion as though it was somehow destined to happen, therefore manifest destiny, and that Europeans were just somehow naturally better in some way than Native Americans. And that is not actually the case. But the reason I show you this is because that is the viewpoint that people held in the 1870s. That's why this picture exists, and it was looked at as being this symbol of progress. It's even called American progress. Um, but is it really progress? Because in some ways you can call it um, progress. I mean, as far as technology goes, if you're um, headed from you know less technology to more technology, I guess you could consider that progress. It could be considered progress perhaps for the Europeans, but it's not necessarily progress for the Native Americans um, who were forced off their land. This picture looks very different when you look at it from that perspective. So that's why I asked you the question of what is the author trying to say with this picture? And he's trying to say something very positive with it. But what does it actually show us? It actually shows us something kind of scary, something kind of negative, especially with this dark side of the painting here. So this is um, one of those uh, primary sources, something that's from the time period that not only tells us kind of what was going on at the time, but what people were thinking at the time. And that's really what's important for history is what people were thinking. And so you can tell that at the time they're thinking of westward expansion as progress, but even within that we still see these divisions and we still see the problematic nature of this as railroads came out and they um, chased away buffalo herds they moved native americans off their land so this could also be looked at from another perspective as sort of a hostile takeover by white americans um, and so that's why there are just many different perspectives to history. And I'm not saying that um, westward expansion was good or bad. Certainly it had its positives and it had its negatives. And it's possible for both those things to exist at the same time. We can't necessarily say that westward expansion was all bad. It did bring quite a bit of good things. But we can't say it was all good either because a lot of suffering happened because of that. History is really complicated and really complex. And that's why I love this painting because it shows all of that complexity. It shows both the um, inventive spirit and the idea of adventure that people had when they were moving out west, but it also shows some of the problems and it shows some of the negatives. So um, I hope that that helps. So please comment and let me know that you've seen this and let me know uh, something that interests you about what was said in this video that you didn't initially know. So thank you guys.